when you're exercising, you produce a lot of heat within your body. This causes your body to get warmer and then you start sweating. Well, sweating indeed contains a lot of water, but it also contains other little electrolytes, little molecules, for example, salt. This is why if you were to lick your lips when you've been sweating, it tastes salty. Now, the reason why we sweat is to cool down. Essentially, what we want to happen is the little drops of sweat on your skin, they evaporate. And as they evaporate, that's when you start cooling down. As a little side note here, this is one of the reasons why it's probably not a good idea to wipe your sweat away. Because if you wipe your sweat away, it can't evaporate and it doesn't cool your skin down. Now, when you're sweating, you're, using, you, you, you're losing water. That also means that you start becoming dehydrated. But monitoring your dehydration or your level of hydration is actually quite tricky. Yes, you can do it by looking at urine, but when you're exercising, producing urine is probably not a good idea. So researchers are looking at different ways of monitoring the hydration status and also looking at other electrolytes that are produced when you're sweating. And that can be done using wearable technology. So with wearable technology, you're looking at a really small sensor that you can stick on the skin on different parts of the body. And, and when you do that, you can analyze the little molecules inside the sweat, basically the, the molecules forming on your skin. And if your sensor is sensitive to a particular molecule, or a particular electrolyte, you can then pick up a change in the concentration and the presence of these sort of molecules. So this allows you to look at how much sweat you're producing and therefore kind of how, how warm you are and how much you should be drinking, for example, during a session. Of course, this is all part of research. So currently, these technologies are not readily available and they are not perfect yet either. But the potential future for these sort of variable technology means that you can actually monitor people while they're in exercising or while they are just doing a daily business. For example, one of those is linked to anaerobic respiration. When you're exercising quite intensely, you're using anaerobic energy, and that leads to the production of lactate. Now, we could measure that in the laboratory settings when we're looking at how much lactate there is in your blood, but this is an invasive technique, and again, it requires specific settings. But lactate or relevant related electrolytes are also found in your sweat. So we can actually analyze that. Again, hopefully in the future, that means we can monitor people's training status and intensity of training by looking at whatever is in their sweat. This is essentially the future of wearable technology. What, you've taught, what I've talked about so far might be quite unknown to you, but other forms of wearable technology you might be more familiar with like a heart rate monitor or the GPS tracking that team sport athletes are doing more and more. You see them wearing those vests, that those vests have got a little sensor in them that monitors where they are on the field using GPS tracking and acceleration. All these technologies are getting smaller and smaller and also in a way cheaper and cheaper. And that means we can look at people in more detail and monitor them better and hopefully improve their performance and improve their health 